Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. In today's video, I'm very excited to show you a new super simple way to play your favorite retro games on your Steam Deck or Steam Deck OLED. Many of you have already checked out my emu deck guides, but this time we're diving into something even easier. If you're looking for the fastest and most hassle-free way to enjoy your retro gaming with emulators, let me introduce you to Retro Deck. Retro Deck is an all-in-one emulation solution specifically designed for Steam Deck. It makes setting up and playing retro games incredibly easy with user-friendly interface and built-in support for a wide range of consoles. No complicated setups, just download and play. And in this quick step-by-step -step guide, I'll walk you through how to install RetroDeck and add your games with ease. I'll even toss in a few tips on how to make everything look sharp and polished. And before we dive in, I'd really appreciate if you could show your support by hitting that like button. And if you don't want to miss any future guides or updates, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Alright, let's jump into it. You won't need much to follow along in this guide. I do recommend having a wireless mouse and keyboard connected to your Steam Deck though, just to make things a bit smoother. But it's totally possible to get everything done using the Steam Deck's controls if needed. You also need a USB drive or some other storage method that holds your personal collection of games or ROM files. I won't be covering where to get games in this video, but I do have a separate video on my channel that shows you how to create your own ROM files from legally bought games. And when you're ready to start, hit the Steam button on your Steam Deck, scroll down to power and hit switch to desktop. Once you're in desktop mode, click on the discover icon at the bottom corner. This is basically your Steam Deck's app store. And you can either use the search bar at the top to look for Retro Deck or navigate to the games section, then emulators, scroll through the list of standalone emulators and eventually you'll find Retro Deck. Simply click on install at the top right corner and wait for the installation process to finish. This could take a few minutes. Once RetroDeck is installed, go ahead and click on the launch button at the top and you will be greeted with a welcome message. The first thing you need to do now is to choose where you want RetroDeck to be installed, either on your internal storage a micro SD card that you've inserted or a custom location if you want to specify exactly where. I've got 1TB of internal storage on my Steam Deck OLED so I'll be installing it there. After that you'll get a message letting you know that you will now be able to choose from a few optional actions as well. Just click OK to proceed to see those options. You'll see some options with checkboxes next to them. Right now you can select RetroDeck's controller profiles for Steam which I recommend. This way you don't have to map the controls yourself. You can also choose to install PS3 or PS Vita firmware if you plan to emulate those systems. However, I won't be covering that in this video. If PS3 or PS Vita emulation is what you're after, be sure to check out my other videos for a detailed guide on that instead. After that, RetroDeck will install everything for you and it will just take a few minutes or so, so sit back and relax while RetroDeck does everything for you. Once RetroDeck finished installing, you will get a final pop-up letting you know that RetroDeck works best in your Steam Deck's gaming mode, otherwise the controls won't function properly. For now, just click Yes to continue to launch RetroDeck, however, you won't get far since you don't have any games added yet. Press A on your Steam Deck to back out and close RetroDeck. Now it's time to add some games. I chose to install RetroDeck internally on my Steam Deck, remember, and you can find the RetroDeck folder inside your home directory. Once you open it, you'll notice you have several subfolders. The two we're focusing on now are the BIOS folder, where you need to place the necessary BIOS files for certain systems to work, and the ROMs folder. Inside the ROMs folder, you'll find a long list of subfolders corresponding to different platforms. Everything from Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS, GameCube, and PlayStation 2, among many others. If you scroll down to the very bottom, there's an helpful text file explaining what each folder is named after. Your next step is to fill these folders with the ROM files or games you already own, organized by the appropriate system. And all you really need to do now is to take your source for ROM files and plug it into your Steam Deck. 
find your game files and simply drag and drop them into the correct folders. For example, place your GameCube ISOs in the GC folder inside the RetroDex ROMs folder, your PS2 ISOs in the PS2 folder, your Wii U games in the Wii U folder, and so on. It's that straightforward. Go ahead and pause the video here to transfer your games. When you're done, come back and I walk you through the next steps. Next, we'll drag and drop our BIOS files into the correct folders. Some systems, like PlayStation 2, require a BIOS file to function, while others, like Nintendo Switch and Wii U, need game keys to work. These BIOS files and keys can be extracted from your own consoles if you have modded hardware and know how to do it. Alternatively, you can search for them online, though they are copyrighted so you'll need to find them on your own. There are plenty of sites out there that can tell you exactly what files you need for which system though. In this guide I'll be adding my Wii U game keys by dragging them into the CMU folder located in the BIOS folder. CMU is the Wii U emulator and needs the key file to be placed in a specific location. For the PS2 BIOS, you can just drag and drop it directly into the main BIOS folder. And remember, as I mentioned earlier, a quick Google search will point you to the exact BIOS files or keys you need. There are plenty of sites that will guide you through it. And if you're looking for more help, many YouTubers, myself included, have videos on what you need or even how to extract your own BIOS files. For example, check out Russ over at Retro Game Core for an in-depth tutorial. You will of course find a link to this video in the video description down below. Once you have dragged and dropped your game files, also known as ROMs, and your system files like the BIOS or keys into the correct folders within your Retro Deck folder on your Steam Deck, you're almost ready to test everything out. But before we do that, there's one small detail we need to take care of first. We need to right click on the Steam Deck icon at the bottom of the screen and open our Steam library. From here we'll need to add Retro Deck as a non-Steam game to our library. This will make it easy to find and launch RetroDeck when we're switched back to gaming mode on the Steam Deck. And to do that you click on Add a game down in the left corner, then on Add a non-Steam game. You'll see a list of applications available on your Steam Deck that you can add to your Steam library as a non-Steam game. Scroll down until you find RetroDeck, check the box next to it and then click on Add Selected Programs. And that's all you need to do. Now you're ready to switch back to gaming mode and check if the games you've added to your ROM folders are playable. Let's see how that works. Back on your Steam Deck's gaming mode, click on the Steam button on your Steam Deck, scroll down to Library and then go inside the Non-Steam tab. This tab contains all the games or app that you've added as a non-Steam game in the desktop mode. And as you can see, we find our RetroDeck application here. And we can boot it up to see if it works. And as you can see, it works. And RetroDeck uses Emulation Station as its frontend, which is a favorite among many YouTubers and retro gaming enthusiasts, myself included. By now you should see a category for each ROM folder you filled with games earlier. In this tutorial I've set up GameCube, PS2 and Wii U. Now I'm just gonna fire up a GameCube game to see if it works. And just like that Super Mario Sunshine launches without any issues. The game even has widescreen patches enabled, which might be something you love or not. That's the beauty of RetroDeck, it makes all the choices for you so you can dive straight into gaming. Of course you can tweak and configure everything to your liking, but that's material for another video. After all, the whole point of choosing RetroDeck over Emudeck is to jump into the fun straight away, without having to tinker with every possible setting. Now that your games are working, we could wrap it up here, but some of you might not like that your games don't have any artwork. Don't worry, that's an easy fix, you'll need to create a free account over at screenscraper.fr. Once you have that, click the start button on your Steam Deck, go into the scraper settings and then into account settings and add your newly created Screen Scraper account info. After that, go back, select Scrape these systems and tick the boxes next to all the systems that you want artwork for. Since I only have a few games in this tutorial, the process will be quick, but if you're adding hundreds or even thousands of games, be prepared to wait for hours. Plugging in your Steam Deck and letting it work overnight is a good idea. If you want more details on how the scraping process works, check out my Emulation Station tutorial for Android in my other videos, the process is exactly the same here. 
And once the scraping process is complete, you'll notice a huge improvement in the overall experience. Now you got thumbnails, game information and even short video clips to showcase each game. It really adds a nice polished touch to your library. And that's it for this quick tutorial on how Retro Deck works and how it will let you dive into your favorite retro games on your Steam Deck in the easiest and fastest way possible. It's basically as simple as drag and drop. Retro Deck is perfect for retro gaming fans who just want to jump into gaming action without tinkering with the settings. I hope this guide helped you out or that it gave you a solid alternative to the usual Emu Deck approach. If it did, please consider giving it a like and if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to help. And I'm also sure that some of my awesome subscribers will as well. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, now it's the perfect time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy gaming!